over under grip on me, and he wants to get this knee under this arm and, and separate this, this arm so I can't get my elbow to the ground, okay? This is what he wants, okay? What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna work to get my hand here in between me and him, and I'm working to get this elbow down and, and push on his hip here. So I want one hand here, one hand in his hip like this. See, I'm using my forearm pushing on his hip, okay? I don't want to start pushing with my palm because if he snaps his hip down towards the ground, he could, he could uh, pop my wrist, so I don't want that, okay? So I'm going to use my, my, my forearm, I'm going to put the hand here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to hip escape out away from him. I'm going to hip escape away from him, and I'm going to bring my knee in between me and him. Okay, as I do, I'm going to fish for this underhook. I'm going to come in and get my guard, okay? And again. So he's got side control. What I want to do is I want to get one hand on the hip, the other in between me and him. I'm going to hit the skip out and bring this knee up in between me and him. Now from this position, I'm pushing. I'm going to pummel for the underhook under this arm. And then I'm going to work to pull back to my guard, okay? And again, he's here. I want to get my hands here. If he's got me locked up here tight, I'll just, I'll try to work my hand in here. Work my hand in here. I'll try to make some distance between me and him. Hip escape out. Bring the knee up in between me and him. So I'm pushing away. I'm going to pumble this hand in. Get the underhook. And then work to regain my guard, or I can go to butterfly, or just get the guard here.